Hi, I'm Dan Atchison. I'm 34 and I'm an all-round logistician with MSF. We tend to be the, uh, the jack of all trades, so the people that help support the medical teams. And that might be with transport and vehicles. It might be with power or with energy supply. Uh, it might be maintenance, it might be construction, and it also tends to be security and communications as well. Last project, I actually had to gap fill uh, on quite a number of occasions. So I, I had to cover supply for a period of time and WhatsApp as well as managing the whole of the logistic um, support and also construction programs. Uh, a typical day would start between six and seven. I'd get up and make sure that the security guards and the watchmen were okay. We would ensure that vehicles were checked and, and cleaned and, and readied. We would have mechanics um, looking after the generators. If we had construction work, you'd have to be uh, in and around the site first thing so that you can ensure the, the project teams are, are getting on with the correct work. And also the, the radio comms, so the checks to either the um, cord country coordination or to a sister hospital would have to be done so that um, communications could be made that, that everything was up and running and, and people were safe and there were, there were no issues. I wanted to do something positive in truth and um, I didn't necessarily want to do that while sitting at a desk. The all-round general logistician role as well as any other role actually in MSF fits that quite well. Something about the organisation resonated with me. I'd, I'd met a member of MSF staff, what she had to tell me about MSF and what I found out there and then just uh, really struck a chord. My background prior to MSF is quite varied um, and I guess that is why maybe I, I fell into the all-round logistician role. I studied construction at university, construction management, and then uh, took some time out after my studies and spent a year in Kenya volunteering at a community project, a, a rural community project. Then from there uh, I taught for five years, got itchy feet, went travelling again, came back from travelling and went into project management. So I worked for a small NGO in the UK managing youth services and that gave me a, a, a really good grounding in, in project management. Then I gave up work, I went to Tanzania for nine months with a small NGO managing their logistics. I got the necessary experience that, um, that I needed and then I, uh, I was fortunate enough to be offered a position with MSF. Some of the most challenging uh, points to the, the role that I've found are the, the remoteness of um, the work that we do and, and the context in which MSF operates. When you're in the middle of nowhere, it's quite difficult to, to get the equipment that you need. So that all needs to be planned and, it, and it's not instantaneous. And when you're in a situation where the medical team are doing what they need to do and you can't offer a lot of support, I found that to be very challenging. My advice for any uh, anybody wishing to be a general log logistician with MSF would be to try and get some relevant experience. From my personal experience, that was going overseas um, and volunteering with an NGO. And that really opens your eyes to the context and the situations that you'll be dealing with. It's imperative that, that you have a good background, a good knowledge and a good understanding and, and you're competent at what you do so you can fulfill the role to, to your utmost. Have a an open, positive outlook, and, and remember that that you can't do everything. So there's an there's an absolute element of teamwork. My top tip for being a general log would be um, to think about collaboration. So it's it's quite easy to to want to do everything yourself, but 
it's best to work uh, in partnership, hand in hand with the people around you. The best thing about being a logistician is that you become the go-to guy. So although you're busy and it's tiring um, and your days can often be endless, you know that what you do is really important. And although you're not at the forefront of MSF's um, work, that's the, the medical teams, you, you're the person that um, supports them to do what they do. <laughs>